What's happening, crypto fans? It's Mac from Cryptstar, and today I have made a beautiful tutorial to show you guys how to go ahead and stake your Aleph Zero. In this tutorial, I go ahead and include details on staking, such as APR, as well as some of the different time periods that you're gonna have to lock your tokens for, so you guys don't go ahead and lock your tokens and not know what the heck is going on. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like it, make sure go ahead and hit that thumbs up and subscribe button below, and let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. Now, in my previous episode, I showed you guys how to go ahead and switch to the Aleph Zero network. You just go here on the right and go down to Live Networks and then click on the Aleph Zero network and hit switch up here on the right. Then to go ahead and get staking, which actually launched about 17 hours ago, you go up here to the network tab and you go down to staking and you just click on that and it'll take you to this homepage here. And you can see there are actually 10 validator nodes to choose from when you're staking. But there's not really an explanation from this website on what the staking rewards are or how it works. So I'm going to explain to you right now how it works. And then from there, we'll go ahead and walk through the tutorial. Basically, in order to go ahead and stake, you need to create a stash. So you would head over to account actions and you create a stash. Staking APR actually varies based on how many people are staking on the Aleph Zero network at the time. Currently, I believe the APR is probably around 15%. I don't see a calculator for this anywhere on this website, but you can see inflation is 10%. So if 50% of the Aleph Zero is being staked, I believe that would give you about 15% APR. Whereas if 100% was staked, you'd only get the 10% APR. I'm not 100% sure about this. There, I don't see a great explanation on this page. A couple other things to note before you go ahead and stake your Aleph Zero is that once you stake, you have to wait till the new era starts in order to go ahead and start receiving rewards. And once your stash is actually locked into a validator node, once you go ahead and nominate the validator, you will be locked in for a total of 14 eras which is equal to 14 days. Each era is 24 hours. If your validator node stops, you can actually switch validator nodes. I believe the ability to switch is in the future will be every session, which is 15 minutes. You'll be able to switch validator nodes. So just in case your validator node does go down, you should be able to switch without having to wait the full 14 days to go ahead and unlock your Aleph Zero tokens and then go ahead and lock them back in. That is a very good feature, I think. I believe staking is a long-term investment for people who are long-term bullish on Aleph Zero. So it's a very good feature to go ahead and get involved in the network. And so let's go ahead and jump right into how to go ahead and stake your Aleph Zero. You wanna head over to this count actions tab and you wanna create a new stash first. When you're creating this stash, you wanna make sure you leave a little bit of A0 in your wallet so that you can pay for the gas fees. This is the same in Ethereum and any other L1 solution. So let's go ahead and we're gonna stake 19,050. Let's go ahead and do 19,070 of our total 19,086 LF0. And you can always actually, it looks like you can increase the stake amount later. So let's go ahead and hit bond. And hit sign and submit right here. So now I'm going to go ahead and type in my password and go ahead and sign the transaction on my ledger. It's very fast. I love zero. Of course, it's a layer one solution. It's super fast like Solana. So you can see that I've already, this happened pretty much immediately. Now what we can do is we can go ahead and press the little nominate button over here and you can choose your validator node. Uh, our Crypt, Cryptstar, we don't run a validator node for A0. We go ahead and choose one of the candidate accounts from this list. There are 10 of them right now. Let's go ahead and press this uh, third one here, uh, 5E, whatever, whatever. There's no names attached to it, it looks like yet. They haven't uh, added the ability to go ahead and give validator names. So let's go ahead and go to nominate here. And we're going to press sign and submit. Okay, so you can see here, my transaction is approved. It looks like after about eight hours, this waiting nominations should go ahead and change to nominated. And then I should hopefully start receiving rewards after that. Again, over here on the right-hand side, you can see the error and how, how far it has elapsed. So it's 24 hours. Anyways, that's pretty much it for today's video. It's very simple to go ahead and nominate a validator and start staking your A0 today. I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Peace out, guys.